this little guy here, if he's not careful, is going to get himself into trouble. He's been roaming further and further from the house here. He's been seen in Jacob's backyard. Would you mind hushing it up? He's been seen in Jake's backyard. Uh, he has been seen around Brienne's yard. He's been seen in my mom and dad's yard. He's been seen behind Uncle Dan's house. And so, y'all just need to hush it up while I'm working. And it seems like he uh, has an interest in following the peacocks around. Peacocks are going over visiting with Jake's emu every day. And they think they are part of that family. They're not. And he wants to be around the peacocks because he thinks he's a lot more handsome than any peacock. And I would agree. But here's my fear. Everywhere he's been going, they have dogs. Morning, folks. Lester here. And I uh, hope you guys are off to a wonderful day. We got a phone call late last night the, from Ellie, and he said that the water on the big pump is just continually running. Not the water, but the pump is on, and it won't go off. And uh, I was happy that he noticed that. So we came over today to figure out what's going on with the water. I told him last night, I said, if you guys are not using any water, if you already had your baths, your showers, you're not running the washer, just turn the water off. Your toilet will still flush at least once. And uh, I says, just turn the water off and I'll come check it today. <sighs> I'm here now to, to do that. I'm also going to feed Pig Trudy. I have a couple of things that I got for her snacks. I'm going to level some horses and I'm gonna do it, all of those things with you guys. So if you will join me, let's have some fun here at I'm a Survivor and uh, let's hope that we can figure this water thing out, shall we? All right, come on. All right, so what I've done for now, could you just hush it up? What I've done for now is I re-diverted water from the old, for, I'm sorry, let me restart that. Hi, baby. Hello, look at you, so handsome. I didn't mean to ignore you. I'm worried about the water, though. I'm just working on the water. I'm working on the water. Uh, what I've done for now is I've re-diverted the water from the big pump that we had installed a couple of years ago to the old pump inside the barn house. And uh, this is the original pump inside of here. So you all bear with me. And I want to see if this pump is also running continually. And it's not. Isn't this a great room? Isn't this just the best room of all time? Okay, so I think I have a fix. What's happened is the toilet in the barn house did not shut itself off and it's been continually running and that has made the water around the farm or well, the pump kept, kept running. So I fixed that I just by wiggling the knob. I believe that's stopped. And now I'm gonna go turn the big pump back on and see if in fact we have fixed our problem. And if so, that was an easy fix. I was, you always worry when things like that happen that it's gonna be something major, some kind of big major, you know, pipe burst or you never know what to expect. But uh, I'm glad that Ellie was vigilant and he was able to pick up on that. And I, I think I solved that. Look at this. Hello there. How are you all? He's like, Mama, I know that man has come to love on me. Yes, I've come to love on you. I am so scared to go into your pasture if you're gonna get me. <laughs> Hi, all the fainting goats. So the fainting goats look very healthy. I don't think that Hero looks very healthy. Uh, now, it could be a different breed of goat. Uh, I don't know exactly. Maybe the days that he was sick has made him lose some weight. But uh, the fainting goats all look very well. They look like they're doing wonderful. They're all nice and plump. They're a smaller breed of goat, obviously. And then uh, Hero looks a little bit, I mean, he looks better than where he did look. I guess he might. Oh, really, Ernest? Did you just have to? Bless you. I have done something very nice for our sweet pig, Trudy. 
and I brought her some leftovers from my Subway sandwich. I think that she's going to enjoy this. Let me find where she's laid up at. There's our sweet tiny Tim. Trudy! Hi, sweetie, I got you a snack. I did, I brought you a snack, sweetie. Here, sweet girl. Guys, she loves to eat. Oh boy, anybody loves to eat. Oh no, if she doesn't hurry, she's gonna have trouble with Tiny Tim, he's coming in. You better hurry, Trudy, you got Timmy on your tail. Timmy on your tail, oh, he's like, hey, wait a minute. Wait just a minute, why is Trudy get the sandwich and I'm not? Trudy! Oh boy, here he comes, and he's not happy. Don't worry, Timmy, I have a bite for you too. I gotta work around and get Timmy his bite. Y'all, bear with me for a minute. Trudy, y'all need to be sweet. Timmy, I'll give you a bite. Don't be mean to her. Y'all thought Trudy was a head honcho, didn't you? I guess y'all just learned that Tiny Tim ain't no pushover. Here, Timmy. Here, buddy. All right. All right, everybody. Tiny Tim got his. Trudy has hers. Corny, you don't even you don't need Subway. Um, oh no. Rita's like, well, I would try some. I'll try a bite. No, you're not, sweetie. So did you all hear the news? Rita is not going to stay the same color forever. She will eventually change colors, and her whole body is going to be gray. Just like that right there. She's going to be a gray horse. She'll be an old gray mare at some point. An old gray mare just ain't what she used to be. She ain't what she used to be. She ain't what she used to be. Now, she's not an old gray mare right now. She's a very, she's a young girl. Uh, I don't like these horses pushing up on each other inside. Uh, what's all over you? What have you got all over you? That's gross. Y'all need a bath. Maybe if we get Uriel over this weekend, y'all can have some baths. Oh boy, you can have some baths. Y'all would like that, wouldn't you? Everyone can get some baths. Y'all like bath time? We gotta make sure the weather's nice. Yeah, this is not my doings here. This is something. Um, so I wanna say something, and I'm not trying to be culturally insensitive. So let's not make it about that, because it's not. But do y'all, I'm, I'm gonna really just ask a question. Is this more of a Hispanic thing? So different cultures practice different practices, right? So different cultures have different practices. And what I've noticed whenever Uriel comes and works with the horses, he enjoys. What? You just need to. Oh. So let me ask you a question. Okay. And I don't mean this in a culturally insensitive way. But we've had different people over the course of the years working on and with our horses. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to, some names are Allie, Courtney, Ashley, okay. Brittany, uh, hu husband Nick. Yeah. Nobody has ever done things with their hair <laughs> until we met Uriel. Yeah. And so my question is, is this a Uriel thing or is this a cultural Spanish thing? Or do you know? And is that, first of all, do you find offense by me asking that question? No. I don't either. Okay, I don't either. But I'm certain there's going to be someone's going to scream holler or something. But I'm curious if it's a cultural thing because he seems to, every time he comes over on those days that he works with them, when he leaves here, they all have their hair done. <laughs> and so, I think, is it because he's a little girl or is it, is it a Spanish thing? I don't know. Maybe it's just a him thing that he likes A him thing? Hair. I would be real curious to know what the internet says. So let's not be mean to each other. There's no reason to call anybody because there's oh, nothing everybody. wrong with it. They need that reply. They need that reply. We are in a season where almost all things are dead. So yeah, we don't. We don't. We don't we're not having like issues right now. There's nothing wrong with it. And it when it comes out, it has a really cute curl. To all it. all I can think of is that you and I have gone to the horse races a few times, and some horses have their tails and their manes done up. Some have them where they just blow in the wind. And so I just don't know. You don't know. And I'm curious if it's a... What in the world? Oh. Y'all need to just... Sell. That's just roosters going at it. Anyway, so I would love to read your comments. I but know that for working with horses, that 
doing their hair is a is a bonding thing. Oh. And it is very much like it's a it's a trust yeah. thing. Like that they'll let you sit here and mess with their mane, especially okay. their tail. Like that's a that's a, a gain of trust. Okay. So I for people who are very much into working with horses, yeah. being able to do that is a is a special bonding time and then it's very intimate. I, yes. I know okay. That. So maybe it's just a bonding thing. Maybe it's just a chance to get to know each other. Uh, that's what I feel like it is and the horses don't mind it, you know, like and it's a patience thing because He's not holding them to anything or anything. He's just, he's working with their hair. And yeah. that's a trust space for them. Notice who doesn't have braids. Yes. <laughs> Rita, what's wrong, baby? No one wants to do your hair? <laughs> no one wants to do the little wild child's hair? <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, guys, I'm going to go and cut this short. We've talked about Cornholio. We've given Pig Trudy a snack. Uh, Tiny Tim took a little bite of it as well. We've talked about our beautiful horses and uh, the fact that uh, we've asked one question about if you guys know the deal with the hair and the infatuation with the hair, uh, asking is it a cultural thing or is it a just a Uriel thing? And, it, and uh, like I repeated over and over, I am not looking for any drama. Please don't bring that to the page. Uh, the same way I was sensitive in asking my question you be as sensitive in answering that question if you think you might know or if you have an opinion. Um, and we respect each other that way. Speaking of respect, did you just see that? I see that they get along very well. Oh, and uh, it's... that moment right there. Say that when you see it, yeah. But uh, Rita does respect Stormy. And that's, what the whole, that's, that's the thing that we needed to happen right there more than anything else. Rita finally has found some respect for somebody. And Rita will test her boundaries. Don't think that she won't test her boundaries. Bucky, did you get your hair undid? Undid. It's kind of funny whenever it's undid. Look how wavy and curly it looks. I like that. Oh, you do? Yeah. That's why I used to braid my kid when I braid my kid. Braid my hair when I was a kid. I was going to say, I bet Xander's never had his hair braided. No. In that poor kid. <laughs> he did not have his hair braided. But whenever I was little, I had bones, I still have bone straight hair. And the only way I would have any curls whatsoever would be to braid it when it was wet oh. and let it dry that way. And then when you undid it, it was nice and curly. For a little while, not very long. Uh, sir, do you have to do that? Do you really need that? He's like, can Hold we go somewhere? Me up. Hold <laughs> me up, we're ready to go for a walk. Yeah, he wants to, ow, voodoo, that hit my head. Uh, he wants to go for a walk with Stormy. Look at this curly-haired boy. <laughs> boy. You look so handsome. Some girls like curly-haired men. Some girls love curls. I like how his goes curly straight, <laughs> curly straight. I like your rose there, buddy. Uh, you look good. That was good. Okay. Can Daddy come out? Can Daddy come out of here? <laughs> Push it out! <laughs> Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.